We have a troupe, it's called the Fatimas, and there are four women, all over 250 pounds, who dance. This is about my sixth performance, and we just love it. We just love it. We've had, we have the most fun with it. It's a very sexy thing to do. It's wonderful exercise. It's a good social, uh, it's a good thing to bring up at parties. Oh, I belly dance. What do you do? <laughs> <laughs> do people ask you to demonstrate? Oh, sure. Parties? You know, give them a little bit of head and then there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I never thought I'd do a show with <laughs> One of these oh, days, yeah, somebody <laughs> Okay, pretend like nothing happens and go right on. Uh, coming, excuse the terrible pun, coming yeah. back to the topic. Yeah. Uh, you have a dating service? That's right. In 1985, my partner Don and I started a dating service. It's called More to Love. And we saw the need for it because a lot of dating services either do not accept larger people at all or do not service them adequately. In other words, they will like, take their money <laughs> and never find a match for them. So our application has two pages, and one of the questions is, what size partner are you interested in dating? And it goes from 150 to over 400 pounds. And we have men who want women in all categories, vice versa for women, the same thing. We find that our clientele tends to run mostly larger women. I would say the smallest one starting at 170, 180, up through as large as people get. Our men, primarily, we only have about one-third larger men who join about two-thirds are what you'd call average men who are interested in dating larger women. And it's, uh, it's been a real wonderful experience. We've gotten to meet a lot of people. Rhonda, what proportion of the male population wants a fat woman? More than people suspect, and men are coming out of the closet all